In this video, I am going to show you how you can design a custom header in Elementor's free version. As you know, Elementor by default doesn't provide us functionality to build a header in free version. That's why we are going to use another free plugin to build header with Elementor. Before we talk about plugins, first let me show you what we are going to design. Then we will talk about plugin theme and then we will start building the header. So here is the design that we are going to build in this video. This header has two sections. One for the top bar which contains some call to actions and social links. And the second section has the main header which contains logo and navigation links. As you can see, this design is not much complicated, but for the learning purpose, this is the good point for us to start building. Once you learn this, then you will be able to design any kind of header in Elementor. So make sure to watch till the end. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for upcoming videos. Now let's talk about plugins and themes. For this tutorial purpose, I am using Elementor's Hello theme. But if you are using any other theme like Astra or Ocean WP, process will be the same. You can follow along. And for the plugins, as you can see, I have Elementor's free version already installed. Now we need one more plugin. So let's see which plugin we need. In search bar, we will type Elementor header footer. So this is the second plugin that we are going to use in this video. It's free. It has premium version. But for this video, we are going to use free version. So just click on install and activate it. Now you can see we have two plugins, Elementor's free version and ultimate add-ons for Elementor. These are the two plugins that we are going to use in this video to build a header. Before we start building the header, first we need to create a navigation links. So head over to appearance and click on menu. Here we will add the menu name like main menu. And for the location we will choose header and click create menu. Our menu has created. Now we need to add some navigation links inside this. As you can see in pages tab we don't have any pages because I have not created any page. So let's head over to pages and create some pages that we will use in our navigation. So click on pages. Now click on add new. First page I will add home. Click on publish. Uncheck this. And click on publish. Let's quickly see how many pages we need. And other page we need. Services. UI UX. Contact us. Now we have pages that we need in our navigation menu. Now let's add these pages in our navigation. And here in the pages tab you can see we have now all the pages. So just click on view all. Select all. Add to menu. Now all the pages are added as our navigation links. Now click on save menu. So we have created our menu. Now we will start building the header. Hover over ultimate add-ons and click on header and footer builder. Now click on add new and here we will add the header name and from here type of template we will choose header and the display condition we will choose entire website now click on publish now click on edit with Elementor now for the layout selection First, we need to analyze the structure of the header that we are going to build. As we can see, top bar header has two inner container inside the main container. That means we need a one main container and inside that we need two inner containers. One for these icon boxes and the second for the social icons. So let's choose the layout. Here I will click on plus sign. From here, I will choose two columns. Now select the inner container. From layout, set its direction to row. And for the width, I will choose 80%. And for the second container, it will be 20%. Now click on publish. Click on plus sign. And here we will search icon box. drag it here as you can see right now icon is above and the headings are below but here if we see 
we need icon to be on left side and these headings on top of each other so to do this by selecting this widget go to style tab from here icon position we will set it left and for the vertical alignment from here we will choose middle now let's choose the icon here we can see we need a chat icon so click here go to content tab from here we will choose chat icon this is the icon that we need click insert and for the heading we can use any random number here and for the description I will copy from here and paste it here now go to a style tab and from here in the icon tab for the icon color I will go with light black color or you can say gray and for the size I think 32 pixel will be the good size now let's adjust the font size of these text go to content tab from here title color we will go with light black or gray and uh, I will keep the typography as it is and description color I will leave it as it is but here we need to adjust this spacing from here the style tab in the box section here is the content spacing I will put 5 now you can see it's looking good I think we need to adjust the color because icon is a bit lighter and this title has a bit darker color so let's adjust it from here let's keep it a bit darker or we can use any color as the primary color I think we have black color as our primary color yes we have we will use this new global color from here and on here we will use the same color for the consistency and let's use this color for the description as well now we have one let's duplicate it two times and for the second we need clock icon click on here from here I will choose clock this is the icon and for the heading copy from here and I will paste here now for the third let's copy it and put it here and for the third now let's choose this rev icon click here and search rev this is the icon and I think we need to add bit of spacing inside these elements so let's choose the inner container and from here row gap I think 40 will be the good spacing I think we need to reduce few pixels of the size of this title so let's click on it from here go to content and for the title typography if we use 20 pixel or 22 I think 22 is good let me try to copy paste if it works copy paste style yeah it's working paste style now click on publish to align this content vertically in center select this inner container and from here set it as center now it's in center if you can see we have some spacing on this side and this is a bit smaller so I think instead of 20 we can make it 25 and from 80 to 75 of this so let's choose this and from here let's make it 25 and click on publish now click on plus sign and here we will set social icons here are the social icons drag it here first let's adjust the color of these icons click on styles from official color we will choose the custom and uh, we will go with light gray color or something like this let's see what color they have used 
it's kind of gray color so i think this is good and uh, for the second color actually we need only the secondary color for the icons we don't need this primary color let me show you what difference it is if i choose red now you can see the difference the secondary color is inside and the primary color is the outer side so we need only secondary color i will keep it here and for the primary color let's make it bit darker and for the primary color i will make it transparent let's make it vertically align so select the container and from here we will set it center and from horizontal direction we will we will align it to the right side so instead of center we will set to end now it's on the left side click on publish now let's take a look now it's looking bit better now let's see what we need for the second or the main header so as we can see here we have this image and background color so let me quickly pick this background color okay i have copied this color now let's go here let's choose layout with two columns and uh, we need to reduce the width of the first column to 30 percent and the second we will make it 70 percent now click on plus sign actually first let's add the background color so click on the main section and from the style tab click on classic and from here we will use that color we have copied from there now click on plus and search for the image tag sorry not tag but widget now click on here i have already uploaded that image select and select the container to align it vertically from here here and let's make it on a start now click on plus sign and click here search nav this is the nav from elementors but it lock because we are using elementors free version but we have another plugin ultimate add-on and we will use this navigation menu drag it here and as you can see we have this but we need to adjust bit typography so select this widget and from here style first we need to change the text color let's see which color we need white keep it white and for the typography we need to reduce the font weight 500 or let's see 400 i think 500 will be the good okay 500 and for the horizontal padding let's keep it 18 pixels and if we see they have aligned their navigation to left side so we need to do this from here content layout we will align it on right side now click on publish and let's take a look as you can see our main header is also ready the one thing we need to do is there their header is inside the box but over is taking the full width because we have given the background color to the main container Insta instead we need to add on inner container to achieve this we have two options the first we need to add an other container inside this and then we can do it otherwise we can use these two widgets in just one single container let me tell you what i am i mean so first select this main section from here we will remove the background color let's remove this now we have only one container let's make it full width from here 100 percent and now we can add the background color to this 
now we have background color for this container add the nav links to here navigation menu drag it below this widget and now we need to change the direction of this container from here we need to choose row and for the spacing we need to choose a space between so it will be left and right just click on a space between now these are adjusted so let's style it click here and go to style from the typography size will be 20 pixel and font weight will be 500 and for the color we will choose white and on hover we will go with the white color let's see bit lighter blue color okay I like this so we will keep it and for the active color we will use the white color now click on publish as you can see here I think we need to align our image to the vertically I'm not sure we have aligned it or not let's take a look again from here now okay now it's in the center click on publish if we see here they have rounded corners our header has sharp corners and also we need to increase the height of this header let's choose this section and for the height we can just add the height let's keep it 100 now to add border radius let's select this container go to style and go to border and from here we will add 10 pixel border radius click on publish and let's take a look now it's almost looking like this but they have more height so if we need we can also increase the height of this header instead of 100 let's add 110 here you can see this header has bit box shadow as well so let me show you how we can add this choose the inner container now go to style and from here border here you can see we have a box shadow if we just click on this it will be added but in case if you want to adjust you can adjust from here let me increase the blur few pixels and vertical I think 4 will be the good now let's click on publish and let's take a look here you can see now we have a box shadow box shadow is just like a, a, just an extra thing if you want you can add otherwise you can avoid this it's uh, totally up to you but for the practicing this is the good point for us to learn I think now you can do some practice in upcoming videos we will try more complex designs and also I will bring more tutorial on Elementor so don't forget to subscribe Thank you for watching.